Hey everybody, welcome back to the Caliber 8 Tools channel. And today we're gonna talk about how circuit breakers work. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys right after this. Circuit breakers are probably only thought about when the lights go out because of a power outage a short circuit, or an overload. But make no mistake about it, these devices are responsible for protecting us from all the electrical and fire hazards we just witnessed. But how exactly do circuit breakers work? We know they click on and off, but how do they work exactly? Here's a 20 or 15 amp circuit breaker that you'd find in a residential electrical panel box. Let's open it up and explore the mechanics of how circuit breakers protect you and your property from going up in flames. But first, we have to remove these rivets here. This one has about three rivets we have to remove first, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, a circuit breaker is basically a, a switch or a resettable fuse. What do I mean by that? Well, a regular fuse can only be used once because once the filament is broken, okay, inside the fuse, that's it. You gotta replace the fuse. With a circuit breaker, once it's tripped, you can reset it again and use it as many times as you need to. So now that we have our circuit breaker open and we can look inside of it and see what's going on, Let's uh, look at some of the parts. Let's identify some of the parts here. Okay, so this is the switch right here. And as you can tell, well, maybe maybe you can't. It's in the on position. Let me show you right here. It says on right there. And if it was in the off position, this would happen right here. Let me turn it off. Now it's in the off position. Okay, and when it's in the off position, the contacts are separated, right? So the circuit is broken. But let's put it back in the on position. There you go, now the circuit is closed. All right, so that's the switch right here. So you have two terminals. You have this terminal, which is the bottom terminal, and then you have this terminal over here, okay? This terminal receives the hot wire from the transformer on the power pole outside and the current comes from there 
enters this terminal and if the circuit's closed or the switch is on that current comes in through here travels all the way through these wires and parts and comes out here because the circuit is closed this connection is closed right here and it goes into your house now this type of breaker is what you would call a thermal magnetic circuit breaker because it operates on two principles, heat and electromagnetism. So the thermal or heat based part of the circuit breaker is this bimetallic strip right here, okay? Now a bimetallic strip, it consists of two different metals in one strip, okay? These two different metals expand at different rates when they're heated up, in this case by electrical current. And because the two metals have different expansion rates when heated up, it'll bend in a certain direction. In other words, it'll bend this way, okay? When it bends this way, it releases the catch right here, right? And this causes this to fly out and it'll pull this moving contact away from this stationary contact, this terminal right here, and the circuit will be broken. Now the bimetallic strip is for when the electrical current exceeds the rating of the breaker. In other words, the heat from the, the current or the overcurrent is enough to bend the strip away from this catch here and you know causing the breaker to trip, you know, opening the circuit. Now I'm gonna demonstrate how the breaker is tripped by pushing this bimetallic strip this way releasing the catch here and opening the circuit here. This moving contact will open, okay? Now the electromagnetic portion of the breaker is this metal piece right here with the copper colored hot wire wrapped around it. Let me bring it a little closer so you can see that. See how the wire wraps around it? See that? in there. Now that essentially is an electromagnet. When you wrap wire around metal and run a current through the wire, you have an electromagnet. When the current gets too high, in this case, or exceeds the rating of the breaker, it produces enough magnetizing force to pull down this metal piece, okay, and trip the breaker, opening the circuit, similar to how the bimetallic principle worked with the heat or thermal trigger. So the electromagnetic portion of the breaker is there to handle very high levels of current passing through the circuit, mainly short circuits. Okay guys, in the circuit breaker worlds, you got a variety. You got arc fall circuit interrupters and you got ground fall circuit interrupters, GFCIs. You also got single pole breakers, you got double pole breakers. But we're gonna talk about all of that in upcoming videos. But if you got the basics of how a circuit breaker works in today's video, Hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to share it as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.